So now in this video we're going to look at a good use for a variable resistor. We have the 555 timer there wired in a stable mode 10,000 ohm resistor with the maximum resistance set. So the capacitor needs to charge and discharge through that resistance. We cut the resistance in half and you can see it's flashing probably about twice as fast. And then if we drop the resistance to nothing it's still oscillating. The red LED looks like it's on steadily but we just have a uh, 1000 ohm resistor setting how long the output's high. As soon as the output goes low, it practically uh, goes back high right away again. So now uh, pin 7 here, the uh, discharge pin, connects to ground when the output is low and the blue LED is lit up. So we got the positive supply there. We definitely need some resistance there. After we get through that resistance while the capacitor is charging, we uh, either have the trim pot with no resistance, then it goes right to charging the capacitor and then discharging uh, that way. Any current uh, through the 1000 ohm again, resistor again goes to ground. Uh, so it charges, discharges instantly at no resistance. At full resistance, then the current has to flow through the whole uh, resistance there before it comes to the wiper to charge the capacitor. And then when the capacitor discharges, it has to go through that whole resistance again. So that slows down the timing. And zooming in, we can get a better idea how I wired this. So you can see we have at the top there, that's the side of the resistive element that's just floating. We are not using that, but the wiper does slide all the way over there. Uh, so wipers in the middle pin, and then the red jumper is uh, the other end of the resistive element. So uh, 1000 ohm resistance, minimum uh, resistance, while well, it is charging, and then uh, this case will go halfway across the resistor element to charge your capacitor. Two-thirds supply voltage, then it discharges. Again, we have to go through two-thirds of that supply, and then it heads to ground. And as I said before, while that's happening, it's connected to ground. Any current through here also goes to ground, so it doesn't affect the timing during the discharge. So we will always have the output high at least a little bit longer than it is low, sometimes a lot longer. Um, but in any case, that's it. I hope you enjoyed.